Hey there, my name is Jer, and welcome back to my channel. I think we've all been there. When you get lined up for that sweet, sweet boof, you envision yourself flying off, hull exposed to the world, and making that beautiful noise when you land. And then you actually go do it, and you biff the boof. I recently did a video where I said one of my 2022 goals was to really perfect my booth. And we're gonna make a little mini series to show my progress towards never biffing another booth again. To fix my booth, I think it is important to first understand why booths get biffed. And in order to do that, I had to take a deep dive into my mental and physical state leading up to and through the booth. Move. Smooth, come up, smooth, right stroke, grab the right, smooth, boost, forward, up, hold, 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 hit. We already know to boost right, we need to have the correct stroke, approach, crunch, and follow through. Four things. The approach is different for every rapid and changes with flows. The stroke itself requires patience, timing, and control. The crunch requires weird and unnatural body movements. And to follow through correctly, you need confidence and good situational awareness. That's a good one, dude. That's a lot for my two brain cells to handle, but it is doable. The real problem comes in when we add in speed and pressure. This is not unique to whitewater kayaking. I'm sure many of you have experienced this playing music or sport or really anything else in life. But speed is crucial. We need to be fast enough to create separation and launch over the hole. But speed is not our friend if we can't process things that fast. And so we get sloppy and we biff the booth. And biffing the booth has consequences. As rapids get harder and harder, poofs become must-makes. And I don't think an explanation is needed for why this adds pressure, when biffing a boof leads to a near-death experience or worse. I don't have the answers for how to fix these things, but in the course of this mini-series, this fixing my boof mini-series, I'll be looking at the different techniques and drills that have been suggested to me, as well as visiting the known good boof practice spots. Will this stop me from biffing my boof ever again? I don't know, but subscribe or stay subscribed to find out. Big boats, boof, big boofs, but big boofs, biffed, break big boats. Say that one five times fast.